Welcome back over to the channel. My name is Peacekeeper and today for you guys welcome back to the tunnel 16 and today we have the brand new June update. We have a lot in store for this update as well. So let's just go in to the patch notes very really quickly and let us let us review what we have in this update. So as guys know we have the brand new troop um, as well which is actually very very handy for what I've seen the druid is really really cool troop. We have the Builder's Apprentice, we have the Hard Mode as well that they added over to Challenges, basically just us doing like friendly challenges, even friendly wars with what I've seen. Um, we got a lot of time and cost reductions as well. We got a Tactical Overview, which I think is probably one of the most, I like the Tactical Overview, some bug fixes as per usual, and some quality of life changes. So. Before we get into any of that, we're going to be talking about the brand new thing that was added, which is the Builder's Apprentice. So I want to probably do another video about the Builder's Apprentice, but I want to know what do you think about the Builder's um, Apprentice? Uh, you got to let me know down below. So we do have a brand new troop, which is it's called the Druid, and the Druid is basically like a healer, as you guys know how the um, we have our original healer. So at level at level one, it does thirteen. It has thirteen um hundred hit points, one hundred and ten healing. Training time minute forty five. Uh, healing time is single. It does bounce as you guys can see here in this little bit of a picture. You can see that the healing bounce from ground as well as air. That's one thing that the healer doesn't do. The healer doesn't heal air troops, but the druid does. And also the druid actually can turn into a bear, basically shape shifting into a bear when, as you guys see, the blue bar, when the blue bar gets full, it change, it basically like rages and turns into a bear, which is actually very, very cool. I like it um, as well. And it, it does damage one um, build a single target, uh, targets ground, favorite def uh, targets defenses, move speed of 20. It doesn't jump wall, so it can get stuck on wall sadly um but other than that the bear troop is actually good so very very handy um i do have two hammers though i do have hammers of um building as well as fighting along so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm thinking of just casually upgrade it to be honest i'm gonna save these hammers because you never know when there's another update even if tunnel 17 ever comes i think i can spend the loot on this right now i do like i said i do have the hammer i can wait the 14 days is like no big deal i can wait the, the 13 days sorry and and write this out because i definitely want to try the druid sometime um hopefully when i max it out because i as you guys know i have max heroes and max pets so the dark Alex is just going to be going into the laboratory i just this is all what i have left for the play in the laboratory we just have the siege barracks we have the log launcher I have the jet and I also have the barbarian. So we, we still have that um to knock out as well. I'm definitely gonna be using a couple hammers on the elixir side and I don't mind spending dark Lucy lab because it's the only thing. So let us spend some uh, I do have um uh, another build in a day. Uh, let me spend something on the wall because I don't mind it at all. I don't mind having the builders um down for right now. So let me just spend a little bit of gold on the walls. And because you can see a lot of there's a different a lot of um improvements as well as cost, so that's not too shabby um, as well. So 14 million yeah, sir, 13 day grade because I won't be able to use it anyway, so I don't mind like I said, I don't mean waiting time. So 40 million sir, 3 to 1, bam, and we'll be unlocking the Gerard in 13 days. So now let's hop back in here to the news and let's and let's gloss over all of the different improvements that they have on this update so like i said all the different features i like the hard mode i definitely want to be doing something on the lives of viewer wars in the hard mode as well which is going to be which i have a lot of things as well planned for that and the tactical overview so builders apprentice we will gloss over the builders apprentice on a, a different video because i want to know your in depth on that as well but the new troop the droid the droid is a very unique new troop that starts off with a ground healer who have a few seconds or if it's knocked out so it doesn't have to wait that uh that length on the blue line anymore if it's knocked out relatively quickly it shapeshifts into the 
bear, so he drove a ship shift into a bear. Healing troops groan and it also jumps, which is actually very happy. Um, healing low range projectiles that bounce to other friendly nearby. So this is one of the one troop that actually heals bounces to different troops. If it's just a healer, healer does a like splash healing. So that's why super bowlers, which is all those are used healers are using those uh, smash attacks because of the healers and be able to keep everything bunched together. The healers um are used in their full force. Um, so the healing jumps of five troops. So this is doing the five troops, which is actually very handy. Uh, but will not bounce the seed machines, which is um, which is basically you can see it's self-explanatory there. I don't think you want really want to be healing sieges, uh, to be honest. Um, it can target both ground air and air troops, and the uh, projector can bounce between air and ground, which is actually very very handy. First troop of its kind. Uh, bear details ground low slow movement speed does not jump and has high HP. Melee attacks, melee range, target damage and defenses as well. Um, only after the ship shift from falling loses all HP with the droid be permanently knocked out. The droid is on lap tall 14, you require dark crits of Bryce level, level 11 and comes with 4 levels, 2 at tall 14 and 1 at tall 15 and 16 each. So we get 2 at 14, so we got a lot of upgrades to do. 1 at 15, so I have to do on the tall 15 free to play and also on this um, account as well. Um, tactical overview. I think this is very, very, I really like tactical overview. Um, I think this can really help a lot of new players or even existing players that are not familiar with um, different tax strategies or even just knowing the ranges of different troops, uh, sorry, different uh, defenses. This can actually work really, really well instead of you have to panic and plan, double plan, making sure that you draw your siege machine, your flame flinger in a very good position then you know, you know when you go into a raid or even just war in general um in war you'll be okay even just in a regular um attack you can just go in and before you even click any troop you can just click up one of the buildings to see um the range this is actually very very handy and you can also let the um defend the building before deploying first troops for heroes uh, so make sure that you do not press anything but Deploy any heroes when you're playing, deploy anything you can click before going in, uh, which is actually bad. So, let the builder also hit all other buildings. So, if you select a cannon, you want to know the range, it will select all the cannons, which is actually not too bad. Uh, select a single artillery highlight as well. Um, in addition, select a uh, hero altar, will select all the hero altars as well, which is really good. So, you can see the ranges. Um, a defensive builders will show the range as well as their uh, configuration if they have any. For example, um, in front of the specify if they set a multi. Oh, okay, so you get to see you get to see that because there was a, like a little thing that everyone used to do back in the day where we would use the our clan castle basically where our, our name is, and then basically we will hide like the single or if the multi target. So it would confuse the attackers what it was, so they would never have to freeze it or not unless you get uh, relatively close to it. Uh, but also build huts will show their healing range. Um, Spell towers will show their spell range as well, so that the builds will also show their current level. So it also it gets us. You can also press to see what level the cannon is, which is actually pretty not too bad, I would say. Um, resource storage and resource production uh, buildings will show the amount of loot they contain. Oh, okay. So for farmers, that's actually will be interesting for for farmers as well, being able to know how much loot a uh, storage or a uh, collector may have. And clan has also show many defending troops housing will spawn. Uh, Tau Hall's level 12 I also show what level the Tau Hall weapon is. Not bad, not bad. So now going on to hard mode. Um, are you in the true theft of your army? They see hard mode is just for friendly challenges, friendly wars, and, uh, and whatever the case may be. This feature is still a work in progress and be over the next few updates. So we got a couple more updates, um, quality of light updates if I want to say, just to tweak on uh, hard mode. I think hard mode can be used really, really well. Um, can really test how you can plan an attack when the cards are not in your favor, which I, I don't I don't see a, a, a bad thing for that as well. I definitely want to try out hard mode with some viewers. That that is something I want to do with you guys as well, uh, with the new clan that I uh, created. So in hard mode, defenses do five plus damage, and heroes have a ten percent less HP and ten percent um fifty percent uh, less DPS. Interesting. Interesting to see that they're 
So I probably have, I can see that rotating. I can see that being like a basically flipping a coin or a rolling dice to see. It, it probably won't be like the same thing. I can just see you can set it to like random and when the war starts you can see what the debuffs and buffs are. I think that would look pretty cool. We are getting to that in a different video. Uh, quality of life changes. Um, basically the ores you can see um, a bubble being full and what's not. Um, equipment and uh, targets so it takes um, building size into account. So that was the fireball for what I've seen. Um, it doesn't just hit any run, it takes the the building size into account, which I can see that um, being more tactical with, with the fireball. Um, fireball, uh, like I said, yeah, like you have the targeted world build with fireball, also uh, effective seeking shield and spiky ball. Hmm. And the spiky ball is definitely one of the equipment that I've seen used a lot now. Um, so being able to see how the spiky ball use, um, can be used in that sense. Add a reminder of obstructing building defense level base building um, attacking in case defensive level is selected by block um, obstacles as well. Players can now record a list of spell IDs when switching multiple accounts. So what I've seen that is uh, really really decent if you guys have like multiple accounts like I have. I only have two uh, but if you have like say 50 yeah people have like a lot of accounts. But if you have like a lot of accounts you only play like say half of them or your main if you have like four accounts or five and play mainly two of them, you can put those to the top instead of having to scroll to Narnia um, when you have to find um, the account that you do play. So I like that, I like that a lot. That's really, really handy um, as well. But that's it for me, if you guys did enjoy that quick video, I will try to get those two other videos about the apprentice, uh, the new apprentice builder, as well as the other video uh, as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.